teacher Karen again and I'm back for our lesson things around us I hope that you are again excited to be having this discussion with me so let's go today's lesson kids is all about identifying the parts of a story and this is on page 14 of your things around this book so you have a favorite story we have here an example of a story. The title of the story is Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Who do you think are the characters of the story? You are right, kids. The characters are Snow White, the Seven Dwarfs, and the Witch. Good job, kids. Now let's move on to our next slide. Today, in your book, which is on page 14, we are going to talk about the characters in a story. Characters can be a prince, a princess, a wizard, a witch. They can also be animals that talks and act like people. So for this particular activity, what you are going to do is to draw the pictures of characters on the pages of book with your imagination. So you are going to imagine the characters in your story. If for example, the character in your story is a prince, you are going to draw a prince on this page of the book. If it is a princess, you can also draw a princess. Or if it's a wizard, you can draw a wizard. And if it is a witch, you can draw a witch. So here are examples of the characters that you can draw in the page of your book. We have here a prince and a princess. We also have here a witch. So this is what you are going to do in this activity. Just draw the characters in your story through your imagination. Don't forget to color your drawings to make it more beautiful. Okay? Now for our next activity, we are going to talk about words that we can use to describe characters in a story. Let's say Snow White for example. What words can we use to describe Snow White? We can use the word princess. Princess. Beautiful. Is it Snow White beautiful? Yes, she is beautiful. So we can use the word beautiful to describe Snow White. We can also say Snow White is kind. Another word that we can use to describe Snow White is industrious. She loves to work. She is industrious. How about a witch? What words can we use to describe a witch as a character in our story? We can use the word evil, an evil witch, bad, a bad witch, old, an old witch, scary, and scary, a scary old witch. So again, what words can we use to describe a witch, evil, bad, old, 
scary. Look at this picture. How about Princess Belle and Beast? Do you think you can use words to describe them? Good job, kids. So let's try describing Belle and the Beast. Belle is beautiful, kind. How about the Beast? Scary. Big. There you go, kids, with the words that you can use to describe the characters in a story. Beautiful, kind, scary, big. How about describing your favorite characters in your favorite story? Kids, I hope that you learned something from our discussions and our activities. I hope to be doing fun with you again next time.